Hello, everyone, and welcome to Read Along with Grandma Sherry. I hope you are doing well today. The story that we will be reading is one of the Hickopotamus and Friends book. It is called The Chimpan Sneeze, and it is written and illustrated by Aaron Zenz. A chimpanzee and a kinkajou took a walk one day through the wild. The kinkajou spotted buttercups, so he plucked them up and smiled. The chimpanzee sniffed the big bouquet, but the buttercups made her wheeze. Ah, uh, chew! Then the kinkajou flew into the blue, all because of the chimpan sneeze. The kinkajou neared an elephant who was painting a purple gate. Look out below, yelled the kinkajou, but he shouted a bit too late. The kinkajou hit the elephant after falling through the trees. Now her head is stuck in the elephant's, all because of the chimpan sneeze. A buffalo left a bakery carrying little loaves of bread. He planned to feed bitty birds with them, but he tripped on a trunk instead. Now tumbling rye's of varied size are the only things he sees, for he's dropped every single buffalo, all because of the chimpan sneeze. Chimpy! A hippo withdrew from a barbecue with a hamburger for his trip. He rolled on loaves from the buffalo, and the mustard flew from his grip. The accident made him somersault, and a yellow font was squeezed. Now he's hippopotam mustard topped, all because of the chimpan sneeze. Chimpy! A poodle pup left the beauty shop with a dazzling new hairdo. She slipped in the slop of the hippopot, and she fumbled her pink shampoo. The poodle pup tossed her bottles up, and the bubbles flew where they pleased. Now she's swimming amid shampoodle suds, all because of the chimpan sneeze. Chimpy! The kinkajou hunted high and low. He just couldn't find his friend. Chimpy, where are you? But bubbles popped and his nose itchy twitched as the sneeze came on there and then. Ah, 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 chew! First a gasp of air, then a thunderous sound and a wondrous wild wind blew. And he landed back with the chimpanzee, all because of his kinkachew. Chimpy! Back together, just like nothing ever happened. That brings us to the end of The Chimpan Sneeze, a hippopotamus and friends book written and illustrated by Aaron Zenz. That was just a silly story, and I loved how it ended, now that everybody was not quite happy, but the two friends were back together. So, I hope you had fun reading that story with me, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.